Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another weekly developer update. Sadly, we don't have the budget to get Matt Berry every week, so sadly you're gonna have to put up with me again. So firstly, I wanted to talk a little bit about Forsaken Shores. So it was really great to be able to release this last week and to be able to use Pioneers on the run up to it, uh, both to get feedback on the experience itself, but also to make sure that when we launched it, um, we had real confidence in the build that was going out there from a stability perspective, from a performance perspective. Um, and you know, we had a, a pretty uneventful launch and launch weekend, which is great. Like that's the position we always want to be in when we launch a really big uh, content update like this. So thanks to everybody that, that helped us and took part in all of the pioneer testing leading up to it. Uh, and it's really given us confidence in that approach moving forward when we uh, come to further content updates to the game, that making sure that we get that testing time in place, uh, that we go through that process, we get stuff out to pioneers, we take feedback, uh, we get issues, we can fix them. Um, it's a really great process and it worked really well for Forsaken Shores. As I've talked about before, one of my favorite introductions for Forsaken Shores has been the rowboat and it's been amazing again to see the stories that are coming out of this the people whose ships are getting sunk but one person survives and manages to get all the loot onto the rowboat and manages to row to an island and wait for their crew to come back and rescue them or I think I saw um, six rowboats taking down a skull fort um, yesterday as well on, on Twitter which was just amazing and it's great to have that come into the game and to, to um, see the stories that have come out of it alongside obviously the, the bigger more explosive additions to the game with the volcanoes and the geysers and and everything else. So um, we're also looking at feedback around the Forsaken Shores, so uh, around kind of difficulty balancing and tuning around the volcanoes, the geysers, everything else really in that, that perilous part of the world. And very much our intent has always been to create a, a more difficult part of the world where the rewards are greater, um, but we we're making sure that we're looking at feedback and we're kind of in a monitoring situation at the moment. You know, we've, we've obviously only uh, recently launched it and we want to, to take that feedback over time, see how people get used to it and see do we need to make changes. So kind of a mix of feedback and also looking at the telemetry around kind of deaths and, and everything else within, within that part of the world. So yeah, in a monitoring phase at the moment and seeing do we want to make changes, um, just really seeing how it beds in. So thanks to all the feedback, please continue to give it. So one of the issues that we have seen reported um, over the weekend uh, that's starting to kind of bubble up is around uh, voyage commendations. So we've seen a couple of um, reports of this. Uh, we're in the middle of kind of investigating this and looking at what we can do to fix this to make sure these are being awarded correctly. Um, so that is in hand. Uh, we think we kind of know where the issue is and now we're just working on a fix for this. So if you've been affected by that about not getting voyage commendations rewarded correctly, we are working on a fix. Um, so we'll have more to share on that soon. So our focus right now is on cargo runs and ensuring that they're in a state to deliver for week three. So right now we've been through some pioneer testing already uh, and we're going through another phase this week just making sure that we can take all that feedback on board, we can tune and balance anything, and that also we eliminate any bugs when we introduce this feature to the game. So really looking forward to that coming to players next week. Uh, I really think it's gonna be great how it'll mix up the kind of merchant way of play, and just the whole game itself, now knowing that some players are going to have cargo on board and they're on a cargo run themselves, when you see that other ship, I think it's really just gonna to add to the, those emergent encounters with other players. So beyond Forsaken Shores and beyond the cargo runs coming in, one of our next kind of major deliverables is the next Build Rat adventure. Um, uh, and so we're not quite ready to talk about what this is yet and show it off, but we do plan to give a little bit of a tease, a little bit of a glimpse into it at New York Comic Con later this week. Uh, and we'll obviously be recording the New York Comic Con panel uh, and ensuring that that gets out onto our channels prior to the Build Rat Adventure kind of being delivered to players. Uh, it's a really cool one, a really kind of unique one, uh, and really looking forward to showing that off later this week. So for those of you that can make it to, to New York and to the, um, to the Comic Con panel, we're really going to be talking about lore and about the game, both in terms of lore in the game itself, so how we've delivered it with uh, our campaigns thus far, but also the expanded universe, the novel, the tales books and the comics and everything, and how all of this is coming together and will continue to come together with our, with our future updates. And yeah, the next Build Out Adventure is in introducing a little bit more lore into the world too, so really looking forward to giving a bit of a reveal of that. So. If you are in New York, I really hope to, to see you and get to say hi and get to chat about the game a bit. Uh, and if not, then uh, just look out for the video coming out on our channels later. But I think that's it for me for this week. So thanks for listening and I'll see you on the seas. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with everything Sea of Thieves, then subscribe to our channel and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just wait here. I'm not doing, not doing much anyway. A couple, couple of good videos there if you want to watch.